Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be checking out Nvidia's new update to the Nvidia app, which is now at el version 11.0.6. This brings some DLSS 4.5 updates. So now when you use this uh, updated version of the Nvidia app, it will allow you to set basically DLSS 4.5 in the DLSS override setting to recommended. Previously it was called latest that has now been changed to recommended. And the thought behind this is it will automatically switch the DLSS model out to the recommended model based on the profile you, you select. So if you choose performance mode, it should use perform, um, profile M or model M. If you choose ultra performance, it should choose model L. And if you choose any other profile like balanced quality or DLAA, it should switch to model K, which essentially is DLSS 4, which won't have that massive performance penalty that some of uh, our, the users have been seeing depending on your GPU generation that varies but at the same time I guess Nvidia thinks this is the best way to go about things so they've also added um, Nvidia surround features um, like hotkey shortcuts and bezel corrections um, I guess that's for people with multiple screens and they also added a debug mode and GPU performance uh, counters in systems advanced tab. So we'll have to check that out. We've also added the LSS override to 77 additional games. So what do we have here? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This one I have to give a try. Because that has terrible um, TAA. So that might even be one I check out. So yeah, what I'm going to do just to demonstrate this is I'm going to get in, go, in, go into the game, have the NVIDIA app overlay showing with the model. And I'm going to go from, let's say, performance mode to ultra performance mode to, let's say, balanced or quality. Let's see if the actual uh, model changes on the fly. So I'm going to go and check that out now, probably in Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so I've got Cyberpunk 2077 loaded up now. And I'm going to show you how this update actually works. So above at the very top of the screen, you can see the NVIDIA app overlay currently monitoring FPS 1% lows, uh, GPU utilization, GPU temperature, core clock, voltage, power draw, memory, core clock, uh, CPU utilization, render latency and average latency. And then finally, the super resolution or DLSS override model that's currently being used. And right now you can see it's using preset M which should indicate I've got currently got performance mode enabled. So I'm just going to go through the settings very quickly. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on. You can see I'm using DLSS Super Resolution with Transformer model with the performance preset. So that goes with Profile M as indicated. I'm using 0 0.10 sharpness. These newer profiles are quite sharp natively, so you don't necessarily need to add any sharpening. Um, DLSS Ray Reconstruction currently isn't available for DLSS 4.5, but hopefully we get support once it comes out of beta. No frame gen being used in this video. Path tracing is enabled and everything else is maxed out. 90% field of view. No film grain, no chromatic aberration, no depth of field or vignette. Just a personal choice for me. Everything else, again, is maxed out at high ultra or psycho where possible. Okay, so I'm just going to play for a little bit and then we're, I'm going to switch profiles and uh, see if the DLSS model changes with it. So let's play a little bit with um, DLSS performance mode in profile M, then switch to DLSS ultra performance and that should um, switch to profile L if it works correctly. And then I'll round it up by going to like DLSS quality and see if it switches to profile K. So performance is pretty good at the moment, getting between 90 and 80 FPS using path tracing with no frame gen. And as you can see, the latency is good in the, the 20s. Okay, so there's something going on around here. Right, let's go. I've got something for you. I don't know why these guys have got beef with me, but I'm ready. Valentinos are always pretty quick. So it's good to slow them down by crippling their limbs sometimes. So cripple movement. I got something for you. 
Play the right in one punch. Out of card, I mean, Valentina's always got the numbers. And this guy thinks it's Agent Smith. Man, I blew her away. These guys just keep coming. And let's slow him down a little. They really don't want me on their turf, huh? I've got something for you. Just about caught him. No one's hiding. Okay, that's another one down. There's one over here somewhere. I don't think so. Okay, so I walked into a pretty big ambush there. Well, as you can see, the performance was pretty good, getting between the high 80s and the 90 FPS. So I'm gonna switch to DLSS Super Resolution um, Ultra Performance Mode. This should now change the profile to L. So let's have a look if that happens. It says inactive at the moment. And you can see it's saying preset L now. So it's actually changed on the fly. You can see I'm getting over 130 FPS now. And you, honestly, you can barely see a, a degradation in the image quality. It almost looks exactly the same. I'm just getting more performance now. All right, let's we'll have a look around see if there's anything else to do. There is a gig close by. So let's go and check that out. So the, the, right, the reason why this is pretty good is that there really doesn't need to be any user interference anymore. You don't need to really override it yourself. You choose recommended, it will do what's best. Now, if you insist on using something like DLSS quality, DLAA, or maybe balanced, then it will use DLSS 4, the Model K, which will stop you from losing any performance or as much performance as you would of using the DLSS 4.5 models. But if you want to drop down to something like performance or super super uh, ultra performance mode, sorry, then you know you're not gonna have to worry about that performance degradation because you're going to be gaining um, more performance anyway. So it's smart for them to do it. I thought that's how it was meant to work originally. I guess it didn't. Got a client who needs to get a certain shot. Problem is. The shards in the skull of a courier who's currently stretched out on the crematorium slab. Details are attached. I remember this one. Gotta go into the cemetery. And this is, again, Valentino turf, and they don't like me too much, but that's just the way it's gonna have to be. Yeah, there's no way to do this without a shootout, I don't think. So let's just get into it. You're gonna try. Oh, I think I hit a civilian. Just gonna make my way downstairs. So if we can find anything on here. Let's turn off the cameras, that will help. Alright, let's get 
downstairs and get this shard. a few of these guys. I think it's this guy. If I remember correctly. Yeah, that's it. Let's get out of here. There's going to be more Valentinas waiting for me as well. That's fine, I'm ready. Okay, finally, let's check out if, the, if it changes to profile K, if you go to like the lesser quality. Yep, it really does. But you do take a massive, massive performance hit though. Just holding over 60, barely. And honestly, I can't say the image quality justifies the performance I've just lost. This is how good the LSS 4.5 looks. But there is an NCPD um, mission nearby actually, so let's go and do that instead. Get into another shootout. Damn, that bike took way too much damage. So yeah, I'm looking at the LSS quality Model K. It's not impressive in any way whatsoever. It, I don't think it actually looks better than the LSS 4.5 performance. I really don't think there's any difference between it. I'll, I'll actually prefer now the LSS performance. Just that little bit more sharpness is a bit more appealing to me. Here it is, 6th Street, trying to rob everyone. Typical. What is wrong with you guys? I deal with these guys with my bare hands. Okay, that was all of them. dealt with these guys with my bare hands. What were they doing here anyway? Alright, let's get out of here. I mean guys, so that's just a look really at the DLSS 4.5 update. The NVIDIA app now does switch the profiles on the fly. You don't need to worry about exiting the game and you know, going to override the, and select the model automatically. That's actually working correctly now. Looking forward to the final release when we get 6X frame gen, some latency improvements, and we even get um, the LSS Ray reconstruction support. That would be nice as well. 
that's pretty much been it for me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching